Hello everyone, welcome to Narayan IAS. I am Akhil Rajaratnam. So in today's session, we will be discussing a very important topic which was in the news that is bond ossification test. So now let us quickly go through what is actually the context of this particular uh, topic. That is one of the accused in the murder of former Maharashtra MLA Baba Siddiqui claimed before a court in Mumbai that he was just 17 years old. So what the court did is like the court ordered a bond ossification test to determine his real age. So now let us uh, quickly say what is actually this bond ossification test. So before moving on to the bond ossification test, let us understand what this bond ossification is. Ossification means a natural process of bond formation, natural process of bond formation. So this bond formation actually happens even before the child is born, that is in the fetus stage itself. That is in the fetus stage itself, this will be starting, starting and it will be there till the late adolescent period, it will be there till the late adolescent period. So these are actually the stages of the bond growth. So what is the advantage of this is like by examining the stages of bond growth, we can determine, experts can determine the approximate age of that particular person, approximate age of that particular person. So now let me tell you how this bond ossification test is given. For example, if you want to determine my age, if I am say I am in somewhere in between this stage and if you want to determine my age, what we will be doing is, uh, we will be taking an x-ray, we will be taking an x-ray of my hand, for example, it can be wrist, it can be hand or whatever it be, we will be taking an x-ray of my hand and we will be comparing it with the standard x-ray, we will be comparing it with the standard x-ray. So at that time, we can determine what is my age. So this is how bond ossification test is conducted. All right, now let us see. Uh, what is this, uh, how is this important in the criminal justice system? So, anyone who is below the age of 18 is considered as a minor. According to our criminal justice system, anyone who is below the age of 18 is considered as a minor only. So, basically, our criminal justice law is differentiating between an adult and a minor. If an adult is getting punished, he will be sent to the prison only. But that cannot be done to a child. That cannot be done to a child. So, uh, when in the case of a normal adult, the court will be determining where he has to be sent. Here, the juvenile justice board will be determining where he has to send. And juvenile justice board consists of magistrate and two social workers. Magistrate and two social workers. So, they'll be deciding whether he should be sent to a uh, he should be sent to an observation home, or sometimes it can be just an admonition. Admonition means just with a warning itself, he can be let off, that is admonition. So, all these things will be under the discretion of this juvenile justice pool. But sometimes determining the age of this particular, whether it be the accused or whether it be the victim, that will be an issue, that will be an issue. So, in ideal case, documents will be available. For example, birth certificate will be available, even we will be having school certificates will be there. So, these things will be available and that is mentioned under section 794 of the juvenile justice act. But sometimes what will happen is like, the, uh, the court might feel like these are forced documents or maybe these documents are not available. So, at that time, as a last resort, what we will be doing is the court can advise, court can advise the authorities to do a bond ossification test to determine the age of the person, okay. So, this is regarding, the, so this is how, this is why age determination is important in the criminal justice system, okay. All right, now let us see what is the, uh, there are questions regarding the reliability of this bond ossification test. Why? Because you know, the bond ossification test will not be giving the exact result. For example, if I am 15 years old, the bond ossification test, test will not be giving the result like I am 15 years. I am somewhere between 16 to 17, sorry, I am somewhere between 14 to 17. This is how bond ossification result will be giving. But sometimes this can be an issue. For example, regarding POXO cases and all. Uh, uh, we have to decide whether the victim or the, whether the accused is above, uh, is reaching the 18 years of age. So, at that time, this can be an issue. For example, take it, uh, the result is giving uh, from somewhere between 17 to 90. It will be giving this range 17 to 19. If it is come falling under 17 means it will be a poxo. If it is falling above 18 means it will be considered in the normal criminal justice system. At that time, uh, it will be an issue. So, what the Delhi High Court said regarding that is, if you are getting this kind of a result, the upper end of the range should be used. 
the upper end of the range should be used. So, this is regarding bond ossification. This is a clarification which Delhi High Court has given regarding bond ossification test. Okay. All right. So, that is it regarding bond ossification test. Hope you understood what bond ossification test is, what is its significance in criminal justice system and uh, what the court has clarified regarding the liability of the particular test. Stay tuned for more such videos.